Hey, what is going on guys? I am back and today in this video, this is another update video of what I've been working on and pretty much um, there is a secret, well two secret tanks I've been working on pretty much, um, but one of them I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is the 145th scale Mark IV, uh, Mark V uh, heavy tank from World War I. Um, this one's by Sir, Sir uh, Luf Waffle 42 on uh, Instagram. Um, pretty much, I love this tank. Perfect scale for minifigs and stuff. And um, pretty much, this is what I have now. Uh, don't have the treads though, but I do have uh, some pictures with the treads. I did take them off my uh, Brickmania M4 to just fill in. And I just put them back on. Um, pretty much, uh, I did follow just these steps. But uh, on some steps, I did basically just added plates. Like for here, it's supposed to be, uh, it's a tile, plate, a tile, plate, a tile, and then a plate. And I did it on the same on the other side. And the spawn sins are just for filler in. Just because I'm, uh, I'm still working on to get these a little bit more thickened. Um, I do like this, but the problem is... Um, they're just only connected by this and you can see that has a gap there But I want to fill that in with a full um, Pure, uh, you know like sponson um, Now the color rise I know it's not in one color But I decided to just mix them again because I have a lot of each color now uh, Some dark green uh, it has light gray dark gray tan little uh, dark tan and dark green and then you can see that there's red seeping out of these uh, these right here because that's from the inside. Because um, I can use uh, all the random bricks that you have. And you can see through here, uh, well, on these uh, 1x6 dark green plates, they stick out here. And I wanted to change that because I didn't want to have any other color. Um, pretty much, this is a very solid tank though, to be honest. It's actually pretty uh, hefty. Um... There is some interesting building techniques, um, because it's actually kind of cool though. And to be honest, I really like this, and I actually hope I get some treads for it. Now, coming on with the secret tank, and actually, it's not as a secret. Um, I actually made this tank in the past before, and I even announced it that I was going to make it, but I ended up scrapping it because I didn't have the instructions. Until one day I ended up finding the instructions on an old phone of mine and um, pretty much this is the A7V 145th scale A7V and no it's not complete and there's a reason why to it is because I'm missing a lot of angles but again this thing it's actually better than the other one because this one's not going to have light gray or green in it it's going to have dark green uh, dark tan, light, um, regular tan, and um, basically, you know, and brown. And the reason why I decided to do that is because I need to use most of these parts up along with some of these dark, these uh, brown tiles and stuff is because I need to make room for newer parts. Um, so I'm just going to build all 145th scale because they take up a lot of it and at the same time... I like 145th scale because it does match it a little bit better. Um, and I actually got this backwards. Whoops. <laughs> um, so pretty much uh, the A7V is again made by the uh, by a Panzer. Uh, I think it was Panzer. Uh, uh, Panzer breaks 1944 off of Instagram. I love his scale. Love his tanks. Holy cow! I wish I was a builder like him and the best. This is based off of his. Well, it's actually his. Um, he had the instructions for free so long ago, but I still have them. And uh, I'm surprised I actually still have them because right now he doesn't have them anymore on his shop. Um, but I give a full shout out. That is his design, especially the Mark IV as Sir Luftwaffe Bricks 42. Again, all of their design, but I absolutely love their design, especially SMV. But the problem is I don't have tiles and stuff to fill in. And uh, yeah, pretty much here's the front of it, what it's supposed to look like. 
And um, there's a bunch of gaps here, and there's a reason, like, because it's all, like, nothing but plates, you're just plating in, and, uh, but pretty much I'm gonna actually going to get all these parts in, and I estimate it's going to cost me about $70, it's not bad, though, for the rest of the parts, because I had a majority of them, but you can already see uh, from my last uh, couple old videos that I actually had it somewhat completed, but it was still worse, but now you can actually see the definition of the tank itself. Um, and of course parts like to fall off and I do use um, different kind of tech and this thing does use techniques and if you look in the inside right here you can see that I didn't want to use all of the good tiles so I started using orange and I started using some blue and different uh, colored plates that I had laying around and I didn't want to use all those because this is the inside. Now I am using some brown here is because it's only hinges and the entire back is just does nothing here because I don't have the plates to them, especially the one by four plates, like the wing plates here. I don't have any one by fours uh, because they're all used up by the one and only Mark IV, but I'm not gonna take that apart because I want these two to face off. Um, Pretty much, it looks really good though for its scale. Perfect, it's beautiful. Um, pretty much, uh, the when I was building this, I got the entire lower half done. The lower half was beautiful until when I got into the rest of the parts. Okay, and the entire uh, rest of the parts kind of made it a little bit more weird and ugly because it still looks incomplete and it does look kind of ugly when it's incomplete. But that is all what I have. Uh, now, uh, I will post some work in progress pictures on the way uh, on my Instagram. I don't have them up now, but as soon as you see this video, they're most likely up. Now, for surprise, um, oh, actually, before I even do that surprise, uh, here is some parts of the side I started working on. I don't have, these are supposed to be all dark gray, uh, even though these are like, you know, the uh, one by two with the four wide. I'm supposed to have these all in like, you know, dark gray and stuff and like green and tan and stuff. And I don't have them. So that's why it's going to cost $70 instead of 30 because um, I don't have majority of these sides. But, uh, now for the surprise, this right here is a Stug G by the same build as the A7V Panzer um, Bricks, uh, 1944 1942 i don't know <laughs> i get his um uh, his username really wrong but he just released the uh his actual kit and i still again have his uh his uh stug and his, the a7v um instructions which i still wish he had the a7v instructions still up so i wouldn't like stress about building the thing but I did find it on my old phone and I did uh, basically, you know, we uh, downloaded and stuff. And but pretty much I'm excited for this thing. Uh, I hope this goes well. And the reason why there's white in here is because I'm going to go with a tan and white uh, camo. Um, and I didn't want to go full tan, even though it looked cool full tan. Uh, there's a reason why is because, again, I want to use all these tan parts, but most of them are going to the Mark IV and the A7V. So that is that. So yeah, guys, um, pretty much uh, that's what I've been working on. I've been sorting out parts. I did get a few pricker brick cups, and that's what majority of uh, some uh, parts have uh, came in, uh, especially uh, most of these white parts in the uh, cup here, and along with a couple other parts that I put with the Tiger, which actually I did start working on a little bit uh, earlier. Uh, here's the actual main housing. Uh, it's really cool. I know it's in the basically tan and gray camo with a dark tan here. Um, I know it's still kind of disappointing with all the parts flying across your disc. I'll probably grab that later because it just flew off. Um, but here's the rear of it. You can see um, still missing a lot of parts, especially the uh, one by two grill pieces that I'm missing. Um, at, I mean, I'm missing a lot of those and I'm going to need them. Uh, said, I think in the instructions it counts 30 something so that's probably going to rack up another order for me to do separately. If I can even find that piece. Oh there it is. It was a, it was a rounded uh, stud aka okay, a cone that flew out. 
but yeah guys but pretty much that's what i've been working on and i actually hope to get this a7v completed and you know it's actually pretty uh well it's not hefty or so well it's actually pretty heavy but it's like actually pretty decent in size but yeah guys i do hope y'all really do enjoy this video and like and subscribe uh, i will have the pictures up on instagram uh later on and um yeah Again, like and subscribe. Go check out their Instagrams, uh, Sir Lou Fruffle Bricks um, 42 for the Mark IV, and then uh, Panzer uh, Bricks, I think 1942, 1944. Uh, he again, he just released the actual kit to his um, Stug. And yeah, guys. And I hope you all really do enjoy this video. Again, uh, send me some requests of what I should make next. And um, again, hope y'all did enjoy and uh, catch you on the next one. Peace.